place is the number one skill you need to teach your dog. Place is a skill that we teach our dogs that means go to a designated spot, lay down and remain there until released. This is a versatile uh, behavior that we can teach our dogs to solve everyday behavioral problems inside the home. No attention barking, no getting up and jumping on guests, no barking for food, uh, jumping on the counters. There are so many uses for this that I want to teach you. Hi, I'm Teresa Loya, Certified Dog Behavior Consultant with Clever Canine Academy. I'm going to teach you how to get your dog started learning to go to their place, as well as help you learn some few tricks that I have in helping them learn how to hold a long down on that designated spot. Place means that your dog is going to a designated spot. They're going to learn how to remain there in a down until released. So imagine your dog is attention barking while you're trying to talk on the phone. If your dog can do a place, they have an alternative, calm, relaxed behavior to offer. You can use this while you're watching TV, working on the computer, eating, entertaining guests. There are so many things to use it for, even outside. If you're at a park or a campground, you can have your dog lay in a designated spot calmly until you release them. So we're going to learn how to teach this. I'm going to show you some uh, areas in which you might have some plateaus or get stuck and how to avoid that, as well as how to keep your dog in that longer downstay without them getting stressed and frustrated. To start, we need to prep with a few items. First, you need a blanket or a light dog bed that is portable, easy to wash, and may have a contrasting color than what you're going to put it on. So white works well on dark carpets. You could have a dark color on light things. So think of contrast. It's easy for your dog to see. The other thing you're going to need is a treat bag with some treats cut up and you want your treats a uh, very small size so that they're smaller than the size of a green pea. We have our item that selected for our place. We're going to take the item and we're going to put it on the floor like this take some treats and we're just going to sprinkle it on that item so that our dog learns there's value for being on this designated item. I'm going to take a treat. I'm going to toss it away to get my dog off. I'm going to sprinkle some treats again and allow my dog to come over. Practice this about four or five times. All we're looking for at this step is that our dog is running over quickly to the item. Toss the treat away, allow the dog to come back over. Once I see that the dog is quickly running back to the item, now I can start adding the word to it. So when he comes back, I'm going to point to the item. Go to place. Yes. And at this point, he's offering the down, but if your dog just stands on it or sits on it, that's fine. We just want them to know to run over here, place, and that this name is place. Yes, good boy. And toss the treat to get them off. Practice that four, five, six times, multiple places throughout the house, several times during the day. Um, so that your dog learns that it's fun to come to this item and its word is place. For step two of teaching the place, we need our dogs to understand that it means go to the designated spot and to lie down. We have taught them to run to the item and they get reinforced. So your dog is ready to move on to step two when you know that anywhere that you place your item, they run to it. That is what we're looking for before we go on to step two. So for step two, 
I'll get Dakota out of the way. We put our item down, place, and we help them into the sit position and into a down position. So we want to reinforce them for being here in this down position, helping them to hold it a little longer until released. So for releasing, it means you need a release word. Well, what is that? You can use the word, okay, uh, free, all done. I use the word free and a release word just means you're done. You don't have to do this behavior anymore. Free. I toss the treat to get the dog off. Place. So I'm gonna help him out into this. Oh, he already did the down. Good boy. Yes. So reinforcing, I'm randomly reinforcing him here. Just little tiny, tiny pieces to help him stay in the down. Free until released. So I'm gonna pick my item up. This time I'm gonna see can he do the down without me asking or helping him? I want it to become automatic. So I put it down, place. Yes, good boy. So I'll offer him some treats while he's in here to highly reinforce that position. And then I toss the treat free to release him. So we'll do it one more time. Place. So I'm looking to see, can he do this automatically without me reminding him that he has to do Coda? Yes, there he goes. Good. And notice I didn't give him a treat right away. I'm, I'm hesitating. And then I'll tell him free. Free. Okay. And so practice that step two, having your dog learn how to go to their place offer the down until released. Step three for teaching your dog to remain in that place position is helping your dog learn how to do the down without you constantly feeding them treats. So we're trying to build the length of time that they remain in the down until released in addition to that, we want to start adding a little bit of distance to it. So let's demonstrate how we do that. So first, again, we're going to put our item down, say our word, place, have our dog do the down, but now I'm not giving him a treat right away. I want him to hold here. So I will randomly drop treats to keep him here. If you have a young puppy, you may have to do it a little more often, but I'm standing and I'm increasing the distance from my dog. I'm not right next to them, uh, giving them the uh, treat. So I'm adding a little distance, free. But randomly release your dog. If you ask your dog to place, if you ask your dog to do a place and they're a young puppy and you give them a treat, soon as they go to place and then not one for 30 minutes later, you're gonna build frustration. So we need some what's called random reinforcement to hold them in that down position. Go to place. Good boy. So I praise him, telling him a good boy. Notice he didn't get up because good boy does not mean he's done with his task. So I just dropped a treat. So all I'm doing is extending his ability to hold. I'm building that tolerance. So he got up. So I'm not going to say anything. I want to see, can he go back to this position? He's looking to see if I tossed a treat. Coda, place. So he needs a reminder. He's only five months old. He's still learning. Good boy. And then I tossed a treat, right? So I just extended the length of time a little bit so that he's learning to hold that position. Now I can add in maybe sitting in a chair, just a little bit of a distance and also changing my body position. And I can toss a treat to reinforce him for that change in position and increasing my distance. I want the dog to be able to learn that they could even be across the room. If I have guests visiting and I have a lot of people, I want my dog a little further away from me. This is how we can start that. Free. So you wanna release the dog, 
periodically to reduce frustration. And now I'm not going to say it. I'm going to see if he can come back and do it on his own. Good boy. Not going to give him a treat. Free. So what I'm doing is fading out the treat. Again, these are all ways to help extend how long the dog can hold that position and also making it their responsibility to come to the designated spot without having to tell them because we don't want to be walking around all day long going place, 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 place for our dogs. We want them to learn it's their responsibility to do this. Free. So practice this multiple times a day. Do it in different areas at your computer, your couch, uh, walk, watching TV, reading a book, um, and helping your dog learn to offer this wherever you designate. Place is such a great behavior to teach your dog because we're teaching them how to be calm and relaxed during our everyday activities that may overstimulate them. So the three steps that we covered in doing this is one, teaching our dogs what does that word mean? What does place look like or mean to them? And that means to go to a designated spot for them. The second step was that we added in the down position to it so that when we put our item down, our dogs walk over to it and we want them to learn to automatically lay in the down position without us having to tell them the down command. The third piece was helping them extend the length of time that they stayed in that down position on that item. We also help them learn that they could get off with the release word. That way we're combining you remain in position until released. That is how we help extend the length of time. We also went from reinforcing immediately with a treat to extending to random reinforcement, meaning we're only providing intermittent reinforcement every so often. The things to watch out for that we covered that could cause your dog to get up or get frustrated is always providing a treat as soon as they do the down. If your dog pops up, then you don't give them the treat. We want them to learn to hold. The other one is extending too long in between reinforcement and your dog getting frustrated. So these are little variables that you will have to see what works for your dog. If you have a young puppy that gets up and walks around, put your puppy on a leash and make sure that you have your place right next to you. A long distance won't work for them. So have fun. It's wonderful to use. It solves so many problems. Um, practice it in all of the areas that you would like your dog to learn to be calm and relaxed while you are doing something.